What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I bet you guys were expecting the typical... <sighs> we need to talk guys, we need to talk. Not really into that, but we do need to talk. Flag on my socks, I don't care. If you watch me, you can chip in on his one sad as fuck, so I stunt. Drop a Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. And today is about this um, woman named Susie Lou. I I've never heard of her until now because of all the drama she got her into. But I I wanted to take my own shot into it. So if you don't know who Susie Lou is, here let me just show you what she's able to do on YouTube, which is fucking amazing, dude. Hey then, I guess we just have to wait. Try holding Daddy's hand. He'll feel the warmth of your touch and know you're here watching over him. Since I can't touch anything in your world. Holy shit, bro! Do you see her reactions? They were just on point bro like you can't get this anywhere else on youtube and i feel like she's out of top of her game she's she's the best bro she's the best reactor but i have a problem with how she makes her videos and the way she can take criticism when it applies to her like, see if they've taken videos that just have my name attached to them like i'm gonna be pissed because i know how that looks yeah, I know how that looks, but the thing is, like, I can take criticism, and I can um, improve on it, or I can take it to heart. The thing is, when someone gives you, um, fucking criticism, bro, you retaliate, and you just fucking, ah, yeah, I'm just strike that video, yeah, let's take it down. Well, thank God for that. Do you know what I mean? Because people were looking at me, and they were like, it was you! You did all this, you did all this, and it's like... There's a lot more behind the scenes than you guys probably don't realize and so let me make this very clear. There's two channels I'm going to talk about here, Tipster and John Swan, because that is the two channels where videos were taken down by YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> Are you serious? You know, the first point you say about, you know, there's more behind the scenes, it's, it shows how manipulative you are to your audience. You're just saying, oh, there's so much behind the scenes that you don't know that's happening and that maybe I'm the one being more affected by it. No, no, you're manipulating your audience and they're going to believe because half of them are 12 year olds who just want to watch the anime you're watching. And I, I don't like that whatsoever because it just shows. How much of a fucking prick you are. And yes, please, keep repeating that YouTube took down the videos because half of us are not going to believe you and the small little minority that are going to believe you are just complete little idiots that don't understand what YouTube is and how it works because I'm not falling for it. I'm sorry, but I'm not falling for it. I've, I've been on this platform for a while now and I know I don't upload many videos, but I know what happens behind the scenes and I understand how YouTube works. And for fuck's sakes, if you're the one pu putting down these videos, that's a really scummy thing and I don't fucking like it because some of these videos are monetized and they make these videos to criticize you to help you make better content and you you don't like that don't you you don't you don't they we're basically trying to white knight the anime companies or whatever and it was just a little bit weird I get it like I have been going out of my mind as well with absolute boredom but I don't use that as an excuse to start a witch hunt against someone can't relate. I want to drive this point all the way home and it's about it for videos. Your videos should be breaking copyright guidelines and it, when it comes to her, she grabs an entire video, well actually no, an entire fucking episode and puts it in the bottom right corner and then she just puts her personality, your quote unquote personality and her bland reactions to the left. That is in the video. You're just grabbing that episode and putting it together and then you make money out of that and i and i completely hate that because you're breaking the guidelines and no one's here to look at your reactions they're here for the episode they're they're here for the episode they're not for you and i don't i can't believe this that you're able to make money because if i had a youtube channel and i had a bunch of fucking family guy re-upload videos i would be making bank bro i'd be making so much money but no that's that's not how the world works these days now considering the uh witch hunting thing look we can't control our fans and i'm super sorry about that but I, I think it's because they think it's justified because if you take down videos, they're like, ah, alright, so if you take down these videos, we have the obligation to make fun of your forehead for the next five minutes on the comments. And I'm not going to stop that. Like, I'm going to say, yo, yeah, don't, don't witch hunt, but I'm not going to delete comments because that's not how I am and I can't really control it. But you cannot just 
claim victim because of all of this shit, okay? You genuinely think that some of these videos are harassment videos, and I, com I find that completely funny because some of these videos are criticizing you in the, you know, most adaptive way. John Swan's video was so fucking impressive on how he's able to get all this information, and I find it cool. But your reaction to it was complete shit because he tried to add a bit of comedy to it. And I found it funny, but since it was about you, you were completely fucking offended by it. Okay. All right. Okay, so we, well, need a, we need a screen share up in here. Yeah. I don't get yeah, this. There's a screen. I literally, you guys have been harassing me for two weeks. Harassing now. you? This is all your, yes. You can't pull the harassment me. card? Come on. Oh, now. no, I can. Come on. Yes, I can. If you guys Why? have seen this shit. No, not because I'm a woman, because of the horrible shit that you guys, not that you've been saying, but by doing these videos, you've been sending like these shitty, horrible people my way. You can't tell the fucking shit. Oh, I'm sorry, we don't have control over that. And that's that. In regards to the other channel in question, uh, sorry, I forgot his name, uh, John Swan. So, it came to my attention, it like the video barely had like any views or anything like that, but it came to my attention on my Discord and people were like, have you seen this video? So I had a look at the video and I was like, why? Like, that's disgusting. Do you know what I mean? I had never spoken to this day, still never spoken to this person. And they put up a video where the entire video was basically just talking about the size of my forehead, going on about my features. You don't get to do things like that. Surprisingly, yes we do. We have the total right to make fun of you. And if I could, I would. But you know what? I'm not, I'm not that low. I'm not going to make fun of you. I'm going to criticize you and I'm going to give you my opinion. And I think you're a total cuck. And somehow you were able to fucking abuse the copyright system and somehow also flag down videos that criticize you. And I completely think that's a complete shit thing to do. You shouldn't be allowed to do this. And I don't understand how YouTube is allowing this either. But YouTube's defending them. And that's just, just complete shit. And I feel like if this keeps on, we're going to lose a lot of videos and a lot of commentary channels because of this complete fucking eyesore of a woman. I I'm not gonna name who they are. Basically, they were getting harassed by Tipster off YouTube. It was happening on Twitter. And they threatened her, and it really, really upset her. And she complained to YouTube. And YouTube came to me because they were like, listen, we have had numerous complaints about this channel. This is Tipster's channel and we want your side of all the things all the times you have had to deal with this person i'm calling shenan i'm calling bullshit actually no way in fucking hell youtube would ever contact you asking hey um look tips tipster tipster he um he was bullying um uh, he's bullying some uh some kids do you wanna you wanna give me your side of the story no they would never have asked you that and and if you have proof calling bullshit and I don't believe you. Please, if you have any proof to this, I would love to see it. Because you're calling most of us out saying that we don't have any proof about all the shit you're doing, even though we do have proof. And we also have proof of you taking down posts. Oh, no, no. Hold on. Lots of, lots of GG reloaded, though. Yeah, lots of GG reload. <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah, we, we can't we can't and have the oh, oh, Look, you can scroll down too. Like, where's the scroll? Oh my. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Look on the right hand this, this side. Is not, you can this, scroll this, down. This is not a good look, Susie. Wait yeah, a minute. It's all the stuff it. talking about the story. Wait a minute. Yeah, wait. wait. A minute. Susie, no. Oof, oof, <laughs> oof. Oof, oof, oof. If you're going to be reporting on news, then why do you feel the need to try and tear someone's appearance down? And he has a track record of doing this. There are so many videos on his channel where he has done things like this, whether it's to iDubs' his girlfriend. Diva's making fun of Anissa's lopsided ass. But yeah, she has I mean, one butt cheek me. that sags lower than the other one. <laughs> no, it almost like looks like... Because it's true, Anissa's ass does sag. If you look at the OnlyFans page, it's, it's weirdly... Sh Both of them are weirdly shapen, and it's true, but... The thing is, it's for a comedic effect. He wants to be funny. It worked for a lot of people. It just didn't work for you. So fine. Blame me for everything. Even though you have zero proof 
of anything that people are accusing me. Oh, whoa, just whoa. Hold on. Lots, of, on. lots of GG reloaded, though. Yeah, lots of GG reload. <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah, we can, we can't we can't and have the you can, oh, look, God. you can scroll down too. Like where's the scroll? Oh my Wait, wait, wait. Look Ooh. on the right hand this, this side. Is not, this, scroll this, down. This is not a good look, Susie. Wait yeah, a minute, it's all the it. stuff talking about the story. Wait a minute. Yeah, wait, wait. a minute. Susie, no! Oof, oof, <laughs> oof, 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 oof. At the end of the day, people say, Oh, but it was just a joke. It was about me, and I didn't think it was funny. But why are we still here? Just to suffer. Today, I am the only person that has the ins and outs of everything that happened. Yeah, Susie, you know what's going on. You definitely know what's going on. You know, you've, you've manipulated the audience. You think uh, you know what's going on because, you know, you quote unquote have all the evidence. That's fine. I don't care. I want to see your flag history. I, I mean, this is, this is vital. If you want to prove your innocence, you got to show your flag history. Why would I care to prove my innocence to a bunch of nobodies on the internet? <laughs> Alright guys, that's my video on Suzy Lou. If she ever responds to this, I would actually really, really fucking laugh. Which she probably won't because, you know, oh, let's just copyright strike me or just fucking take down my video. She's just gonna flag it. So, I hope you guys did enjoy and I will keep uploading, I guess. Yeah, I still get so mad stuck just thinking of you. The pain in my chest got me feeling so you.